Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me and Scrapbook Boutique today as I play with these goodies you can see. I really wanted to use that beautiful patterned paper so I thought I'd have some more fun with my Distress Oxide inks and try creating a patterned paper that I could then stamp my pretty little flowers on. And if I use the right colours I'm hoping that I can coordinate the flowers to the patterned paper. So you'll see me just stamping down with the oxide inks onto my craft mat, giving them a good spray with clean water from my mini mister. Nice smooth Bristol cardstock here and I'm pouncing the card down into the ink. Sometimes this gives me great results. I get this nice splotchy spotty effect which I really love like you see here and other times it just all melts together and gives you a more solid um, sort of colour so it's a bit of hit and miss it's um, all good fun playing and, and mucking around with these different oxide inks and I certainly enjoy the process I wanted to get a bit more pink there in the design so again I've stamped down some of the worn lipstick oxide ink and I'm spraying it with the clean water and continuing the process of pouncing the cardstock into it and just building up my layers of colour on my Bristol Smooth cardstock to achieve a nice array of colours across the card because I'll then be stamping the little Gabby's hibiscus flowers onto this patterned paper, shall we call it, that I'm creating. So I want there to be a nice mix of colours and patterns across the front. So here you see me just adding droplets of water from the mini mister, sopping up with a tissue a couple of areas where the oxide inks have pooled there and then grabbing my heat tool and drying things off a bit and that's how it looks at this point and I continue with a couple more colours the worn lipstick and cracked pistachio spraying again and then continuing to pounce my cardstock into it you'll also see I press the cardstock down in places here really just pushing it down in a particular spot with my finger to achieve those little dots that I love the look of so much. And I'm slowly building up all those different gorgeous layers.
Well, that certainly was a ton of fun. And as you can see now, I have a lovely range of colors on my piece. So I've just spray, um, I'm just spraying a little pool of the cracked pistachio distress oxide ink there. And I picked that up with a wet paintbrush and I'm flicking on splotches of the oxide ink. And then I'll dry that off and repeat the process a couple of times just to get a little bit more spotty detail on the paper. Now here you can see the completed piece that you've been seeing me work on and I'm happy with that. I'll be stamping my flowers mostly around the outside where it's um, a little bit lighter and I also created this second piece while I was at it. I'm just flicking the colour on with the paintbrush onto this one and then using a, an eyedropper to get the uh, larger dots that you see. I've now grabbed my wonky stitched rectangle stacks from MFT and placing them on that beautiful coloured pattern paper that I really love and cutting the largest rectangle first and then using the second largest to make a pretty frame. Now the idea is that my pretty frame will sit on the white card front and I will stamp three different sizes of Gabby's hibiscus flowers, fussy cut them from the oxide ink paper I've created and then they will sit inside the patterned paper frame you see there. And before I cut out all my little flowers, I'm just preparing another frame out of craft foam. So I'm just penciling it in, measuring it up, and I'll hand cut that and adhere it behind my die cut frame. Now it's just a matter of fussy cutting each of those little flowers so that I have enough of them for my card front and as you can see here I'm just embellishing each little flower with some tiny white gel pen dots in the center. Okay so cutting out my last flower and I have also cut the smile 
die cut word from Mama Elephant. I've cut it out of, out of some of the Distress Oxide paper that I created. So now I'm just sorting out where everything is going to go, making sure I'm happy with the arrangement. And then it's just a matter of using my Ranger multi-medium mat and adhering everything into its right place. As I begin adhering each of my flowers, I'm just adding the adhesive to the center of the flower. The reason for that is I want to just gently lift up the petals so that I get a little bit more dimension on my card. So a bit of glue into the center, adhere it in place, let it dry and then you'll see me lifting up the petals. I had all my flowers in place I did decide that I just wanted just a little bit more of something in between the flowers so I grabbed that little butterfly from Lawn Fawn's Mum and Me stamp set and I'm using two colours of Distress Oxide, Worn Lipstick and Fossilised Amber and I'm stamping the little butterfly in the white space around the card. Then I just add a little bit of clear Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and that completes my card. 